hello everyone so in this video we are going to understand uh, healing of a fracture of a cortical bone so here we have five stages the first stage is stage of hematoma formation this is the bone okay this is a part of bone this is our medullary cavity and this is a part of bone and this is the fracture in between let's look it closely this green one is the periosteum that is raised at the site of fracture so following a fracture we have the periosteum that is ripped at the ripped apart at the site of fracture okay along with the soft tissue surrounding it the blood starts collecting at the fracture site as well as the at the surrounding area this is known as hematoma this stage of hematoma lasts for 7 days and because of this blood the mm, blood supply to the margins of the fracture site is compromised leading to necrosis up to few mm this also leads to stimulation of osteocytes that divide and form daughter cell now these daughter cell are going to help us in healing process the next stage is stage of formation of granulation tissue so this is our bone what actually happens is we had formation of daughter cells from osteocytes these daughter cells under the effect of chemokine and different cytokines that are produced due to blood and inflammation they result in formation of fibroblast okay these are the fibroblast and these fibroblast get converted into osteoblast plus there is formation of blood vessels too so this all the fibroblast osteoblast blood vessels lead to formation of a soft granulation tissue at the site of fracture this soft granulation tissue provides a non rigid uh, anchorage to the fracture bone okay so we have two stages stages of hematoma and stage of granulation tissue till here the stages of healing are similar in the case of wound in our skin and a bone after this in the case of skin we have formation of fibrous tissue whereas in the case of bone we have formation of mineralized mesenchymal tissue that is our callus we will we here will discuss about the bone healing so after stage of hematoma in granulation tissue we have formation of callus actually we already had the formation of osteoblast from fibroblast these osteoblast starts to divide at the site of fracture okay and they multiply and are in large number in the site at the site of fracture in between these osteoblast we have impregnation of minerals that is calcium hydroxyapatite and phosphorus and this leads to formation of callus callus is actually a woven bone that is immature bone which is the bone that is formed during a process of rapid healing and these bone are not so strong but we need to remember this that callus is the first sign that can be seen under x ray and can be seen within 3 weeks so we have studied three stages till now the hematoma formation that lasts for 7 days the granulation tissue lasting for 2 to 3 weeks the callus formation 4 to 12 weeks okay where we have mineral deposition in between the osteoblast leading to formation of callus that is a woven bone and this can be seen within 3 weeks the fourth stage is stage of remodeling earlier this stage was known as consolidation now it is no more called it it is known as stage of remodeling in this stage the woven bone is converted into mature or lamellar bone okay lamellar bone has more geometrical arrangement of the osteo of the of the osteoblast okay here the formation of the lamellar bone is described in multicellular unit based okay it means that a part of the bone that is woven will be converted into a mature bone following which the other part that is woven still will be converted into mature bone so units of the bone are converted uh, consecutively into a lamellar bone the last stage is stage of modeling which earlier was known as stage of remodeling actually now we have bone that is healed but still the bone is not symmetrical to the part of bone which is not fractured there are elevations in the endosteum as well as periosteum okay so during the stage of modeling which can last for nearly 4 years we have endosteal and periosteal surface is becoming symmetric to a non fractured part and we cannot differentiate between the fractured and non fractured part after this this occurs because of local bone strains 
ओके विच अकर वेन द पेशेंट स्टार्ट वॉकिंग और पुटिंग द पार्ट ऑफ द बोन अंडर स्ट्रेस विच वॉज इन फ्रैक्चर दिस लीड्स टू शार्पनिंग ऑफ द इंडोस्टियम एंड पेरीओस्टियम इन टू अ नॉर्मल बोन सो दीज वर द फाइव स्टेजेस विच वी नीडेड टू रिमेंबर द स्टेज ऑफ हेमेटोमा द ग्रेन्युलेशन टिश्यू द कैलस फॉर्मेशन द रीमॉडलिंग अर्लियर नोन एज कंसॉलिडेशन एंड मॉडलिंग विच वॉज अर्लियर नोन एज रीमॉडलिंग होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस टॉपिक थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग